I don't know why I'm trying to get this swatch just perfect. Just trying to get it just perfect. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a video for y'all today on my automatic repurchase products. So I saw my friend Jen, Jen Phelps Beauty, do this video and I just absolutely loved it. I love the video idea. I loved hearing her answers. So I'm totally inspired by her to do this video. So we are gonna be chatting about the products that I just automatically go out and repurchase if I'm running low on them because they're pretty much holy grail products that I just never wanna be without. So I've gathered together some things, makeup things, body care things, hair care, skin care. So we've got kind of a variety here, but all just things that I absolutely love. So I will link Jen down below and her video. Definitely go check her out. I've mentioned her many times before. She's just a doll. I love her. I love her channel. And yeah, this video is totally inspired by her. So let's get to it. So I have to start with something that I would say is probably my number one. That's saying a lot because I really, really like all these things. But this is just, I never want to be without it. And this is no surprise if you watch my channel. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin The Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum SPF 50 Plus UVA UVB. I can kind of go in between fair and light as far as color. The fair light, the color called fair light is a little bit too orangey pinky for me. I'm really more just neutral. So fair and light work better for me, but my closest color match I would say is light. I almost always get the jumbo size from QVC. They do different deals. They do um, today's special values. That is totally when I get it and they last so long. So this is a new tube here and I just love it. I love the finish on the skin. I love that it has good ingredients for the skin in it. Um, it doesn't, I just feel like this melds onto the skin, looks like skin, feels like skin care, has SPF. It's just got it all. I absolutely love it. Sometimes I mix it with a matte foundation, especially in like the spring summertime. If you need more, um, not more coverage, but if you need more longevity with it, you could totally do that. It's just awesome. So I absolutely go out and repurchase this many times, but this lasts a long time, these jumbo sizes. A couple of mascaras that I definitely go repurchase, these two right here. So first off, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I love the CoverGirl Lash Blast mascaras because they don't smudge on me. I have smudging with almost every single mascara under my eyes, but especially on my eyelids. So these do not smudge on me. So I mainly buy the Clump Crusher because I use it on my lower lashes. I will say I think I still get a tiny bit of smudging, but it is significantly less than everything else. I also like that the wand on it is curved, so I can really kind of get into those lashes, those lower lashes. So I mainly use this on my lower lashes, but I also use it to kind of top the edges and the very ends of my lashes to almost kind of seal other mascaras just for that longevity and to help prevent smudging. So I definitely love this. It is an awesome, affordable mascara. The It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. You know I love this one. This is such an amazing mascara. I mean, if you want the closest look to false lashes with a mascara without wearing false lashes, I really think that this is it. This is the closest I've ever found to that false lash look. I mean, it just makes your lashes look long, volumized, really black and rich. Um, it layers on itself. I mean, I apply a ton of coats just because I love that like super intense lash look. I'm always going for that. So I apply a lot of layers of this. Um, yeah, it just, you can get to that false lash look really quickly with it. It's amazing. I do get a small bit of smudging with it, but that's why I top it with this and that really helps with that. Um, it's just awesome. It is a thicker sort of a formula. So, I mean, I do go through these every few months, but I love it so much, I don't mind. And I always buy it in QVC sets. That's the best value. That's the best place to buy them. I found because you can get them at a much better price point, sometimes even close to drugstore prices, which is awesome. I need to go out and repurchase this right now. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. This is awesome. And it's like $5. I've tried a lot of different eyeshadow primers. I'm picky about them. And I do feel like they're very personal. I think it depends on 
your eyelids situation. Like how oily your eyelids are, how dry they are, um, if you're trying to help smooth or whatever. I'm mainly just going for longevity with my eyeshadows and kind of color intensity. That's what I'm looking for in a primer and this totally does that. It reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Primer, primer Potion which I love, but this is just a lot more affordable at $5. It really helps to um, just intensify the look of your eyeshadows and also help prevent smudging, wearing away, just help the longevity of that shadow. So this is awesome at $5 or so. I have gone through so many bottles of this hairspray, the Garnier Fructi Style Volume Hairspray. I've also used the Sleek one. I mainly go for the volume, but if they don't have it in stock, I go for the sleek one, and I really don't notice a huge difference between the two. This is like a three or four dollar hairspray. It smells really good, it smells fruity, um, and I like that it's very kind of buildable. I can just apply a little bit of it, just spray on a little bit, and you get kind of a light hold, or you can build on your hair and get more of that hold, but it still keeps your hair from feeling, it's not that crunchy feeling. So you've got the hold, but you've got kind of some playroom with how much hold is, as far as how much you apply. Your hair smells good, but it doesn't feel all crunchy and weird, and it's really affordable. I would say that both of these are automatic repurchases, for sure. This is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argon Oil, and then this is the Josie Marin Pure Argon Milk. So let's chat about this first. So both made with argon oil, but this is just a milk, as the name suggests. It's called a milk, it's a milk. It's a hydrating serum treatment. She really describes this as her most anti-aging product in her line. So you can see, it's it's really just argon oil. Mine's almost out, but I have a backup, don't you worry. So it's just whipped into a milk sort of a texture. Very anti-aging, really hydrating to the skin. So I noticed those anti-aging benefits when I use this. I will say when I was more acne prone, when my skin was more acne prone, I would have to use this about every other night or I could have some um, little tiny breakouts, nothing major, but I think it was just a little bit heavy for my skin when it was more acne prone. Now I'm not as acne prone at all and I mean I can use it every single day and no problem. I use this at nighttime. I can't think of a time that I've used this during the day. Always at nighttime, just really hydrating, anti-aging, and I love that it is made with that great argon oil. And then the argon oil itself, this is just awesome. I mean, if I were on a deserted island and I can only have one skincare product, it would be this. Because, I mean, you can use this all over your face. You can use it on your neck. You can use it on um, your cuticles. You can use it on dry spots on your elbows. You can use it in your hair. So it's just an amazing beauty product that is so multifunctional. I just mainly use it on my face and it's an awesome oil. If you would have told me 10 years ago that I would be using oils on my face, I would say, I don't think so. But now I love oils, especially argon oil. So hydrating, so anti-aging and just easy. Like if I'm trying to get in bed and just go to sleep and I don't wanna do a whole ginormous routine, I'll just slap some of this on my skin, kind of run it under my eyes even, and I'm done. So it's quick and easy, and I also just love it and the benefits that I see in my skin. I would definitely also say the native deodorant in the sensitive version. So once I tried the sensitive, love, love, love this deodorant. I had been on the hunt for a more natural deodorant for a very long time. I had tried many different ones, just wasn't a fan of them. A lot of them would cause like just sensitivity on my underarms. Um, not really work that well either. Whereas this one, I feel like it works really, really well and doesn't cause that sensitivity. And yeah, they have a lot of different um, scents and I just think they're awesome. So if you're looking for a good deodorant, that's a more natural one. Um, this one is aluminum free and then the sensitive is baking soda free. So if you're looking for something like that, I really, really like these. Love the coconut and vanilla and I've tried some of their seasonal scents before and really like those too. Some color correctors and a concealer. So. I would have said before the Maybelline Master Camo by Face Studio, and it, these are different color correctors. They're not really, I don't think any of them are around anymore. If they are, only just a couple of colors, but this one is in pink for dullness. I have this on this under eye. Um, I used this for years and years, went through so many different ones of this, but then they discontinued it, so that's a bummer. So then I started using this one, and I love, love, love this as much, 
I don't know if I would say more. They're just a little bit different. They're similar, but they're different. They're similar in that, did I tell you what this is? This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the brightener shade. So this is more of a pinky under eye color corrector, just like this. But this one is more coverage and a little bit thicker in consistency. This is a thinner sort of a consistency. Doesn't have quite as much coverage to it, but I always pair it with a concealer anyway. So I'm really just going for that color correcting. But both of them are very smooth under the eyes. So this is the only one you can find anymore. And it's awesome. It's very, very affordable. Really looks so nice under the eyes. Really does brighten very well and has that pinky sort of a tone to it that is just beautiful, really, really brightening. And wow, I have used this for years and years and years. It takes me a long time to go through one of these, but it's definitely an automatic repurchase. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I have it in NW20. So this is just an awesome concealer that I will use under my eyes. I'll use it in spots on my face. I mean, it just, it has great coverage, a really nice consistency to it that has good coverage, but isn't thick and cakey, but it's not watery either. It's just really, really good. Right in the middle, I mean, has great coverage to it. It's just one of those concealers that you could use in different ways and it works well. It, you know, it's hard to sometimes find a concealer that works well under the eyes and on the face, at least that's what I find. And this one, this texture really works everywhere. It's great. Definitely need to go out and repurchase another one of these. The Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Rose Petal. Again, this takes me a very long time to go through this. And this is the smaller size. They have a bigger size that's kind of in a little like tube sort of, not really a tube, but just more of a container type of a thing. Not like a flat container. It's just, it doesn't matter. They have larger sizes. This is the smaller size. And it still takes me a really long time to go through it. I'm talking like a year two years, something like that. I use so little of it. I use it on my under eyes especially, but also in my T-zone a little bit. This is obviously more of a pinky toned powder, but the consistency of this luxury powder is amazing. And it's not one that's necessarily talked about a ton. I think it's used by makeup artists a lot. It's more of camera sort of makeup but it's beautiful in everyday life too. I mean, it just works because it has that beautiful smoothing sort of a consistency to it. It's not thick and heavy. When I think of camera makeup, I think of thick, heavy makeup. This is not that. It's a thin, finely milled sort of a powder that is just so smoothing and very, very forgiving on the skin. Comes in lots of different colors, but I especially love Rose Petal for the brightening sort of properties to it. And just like I said, the consistency and the formula of it is amazing. So y'all can probably guess that I definitely would have mentioned Jordana's Tawny lip liner because that one just matches everything, but it's a lot harder to find now. So kind of my replacement that I absolutely love that I think really works very closely in the same way that it goes with a lot of different things is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bare to Comment. I do have this on right now, but I have a lipstick kind of covering it. Um, but this is such a beautiful neutral color um, that's a little bit kind of peachy, rosy or something. I would say Tawny was a little bit more mauve -y is kind of the difference. But I really like the formula of this. You can fill in your lips with this and it's beautiful. It has that sort of consistency that works all over the lips, not just as a liner, but also as a lipstick too, essentially. So great formula to it, beautiful color, goes with a lot of different things, affordable. It's definitely a lip liner that I always want to have around. And a couple of Maybelline lipsticks. Maybelline lipsticks, I would just say in general, they're automatic repurchases. I feel like I'm always purchasing Maybelline lipsticks in general, just because I love the formula. So I would say Maybelline lipsticks in general, but a couple different colors. First off, Clay Crush. This is just such a beautiful terracotta sort of a color. Great formula to it. I mean, it is that awesome matte formula that is not drying, um, that's just comfortable on the lips, but long wearing, low maintenance. It's great, love the color. I would say my number one, the one that I always want to have around, this one I really like to have more in the fall time. I wear it a lot in the fall, but the one that I just think is my go-to best nude lip color, I have it on right now. This is Bare Reveal. So for my skin tone, my lip color, this is, I would say, 
my ideal nude lipstick. It is so pretty. So this one's more of a cream finish to it, uh, but it kind of dries down to be more satin. I don't know why I'm trying to get this swatch just perfect. Just trying to get it just perfect. There it is. So pretty. So it has some color to it. So it's not a um, super light nude. It's more of a peachy sort of a nude. So it's got some color to it, but oh, so pretty. I mean, it goes with every different makeup look. Love the formula of it. It's that beautiful kind of cream finish, so it's forgiving on the lips. Both of them are, I would say, in that regard. But yeah, it's just a beautiful nude lip color um, that I always want to have around, for sure. Okay, guys, those are all the goodies that I could think of that are my automatic repurchases, but I'm sure that I'm forgetting something. So if I remember something else, I will definitely list it down below for you in the description box. But yeah, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what your answers would be. What would be your automatic repurchase products? I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.